In the past, we've had different ways to handle selective ops that are in a part file but are not necessarily being processed with the rest of the program. And these ways have not always been consistent. For example, show selected ops in simulation and post selected ops in posting don't actually do the same thing. They work slightly differently. This has the potential for causing problems. In this release, we've added a new system to handle these situations in a more reliable manner that we call Deactivate Ops. We'll now run simulation for this entire part program. Take note of the six pockets towards the center of this part. We want to remove these from the program. We'll start with the group starting with operation 9 and we'll now select the new function Deactivate Selected Ops. Notice that the toolpaths are grayed out as well as the operation tile. We'll do the same thing for the finishing toolpath starting at operation 34. Deactivate Selected Ops Again, the toolpath is grayed out as well as the operation tile. Now when we run our simulation again, these six pockets will no longer be part of this program. Deactivated ops do not participate in the program. Now we'll post the program. We'll notice that these deactivated ops are not part of the posted code, which is what we would expect. To reactivate these, we can choose Activate Selected Ops, or in the Edit menu we have some new commands. We can redo Active Ops, Activate All Ops, or Deactivate Unselected Ops. So here we'll activate all ops and notice the toolpaths for the pockets return.